It's Jeff, and I traveled to Las Vegas once I heard that the Beatles' love show by Cirque du Soleil in the Mirage Hotel were permanently closing. I have seen the Beatles' love show once before and wanted to revisit it before it officially closed for good. Now back in 1990, the show that was filling the seats at the Mirage were the magicians Siegfried and Roy. But sadly, due to an animal attack on stage, the show had to close in 2003. What was to replace that show was the only show ever to have the Beatles music officially licensed in it. Cirque du Soleil's Love opened its doors on June 30th, 2006 after building an over $100 million custom-built theater that had 2,013 seats. The theater was completely in the round and something I had never experienced before. Now, 18 years later, the show is officially closing on July 7th, 2024, with the doors of the Mirage Hotel closing 10 days later on July 17th, 2024, to make way for the new Hard Rock Hotel that will be replacing the Mirage. And this right here is the entire reason I am in Las Vegas right now, is to see this show. And let's go take a look at it before the crowds come to see the show tonight. Now, I absolutely love how crazy Cirque du Soleil makes everything. All like the entrances to their theaters, there's the box office. Of course, the Beatles shop right there. And I was here last night when the show was letting out, and man, that store was hopping. Uh, but we're gonna go check it out here in a minute. Look at this. That is so cool. And this is where they're gonna be scanning the tickets for tonight. And that's what the concession area looks like. And I am so excited to see this show tonight. Now, I've seen it before. Uh, when it first opened. This was a long time ago. I remember the show being just okay, but I cannot wait to come back and revisit the show and see what it's going to be like. And now let's go do what I do best. Let's go shopping. Due to the show closing, they had a limited supply of Cirque du Soleil's Beatles Love merchandise. What they did have was very limited in sizes. If you wear a triple XL, a small, are an extra small in size, they had everything you ever wanted. If not, then you were out of luck. The merchandise was a mix of Cirque du Soleil's Beatles Love Show merch, official Beatles merchandise, and Cirque du Soleil merchandise. What they did seem to have a lot of were magnets, water bottles, and show programs. Things were on the pricey side, with some of the prices being what I consider absolutely ridiculously high. But I did end up getting one Beatles t-shirt, and trust me, I had to have a scavenger hunt to find the one size that they had left that I wear. The ticket has been scanned, and I'm in the reception area. Yeah. All right, let's take a look at the cocktail menu. All right, this is what they've got. I totally wasn't going to get something, but, you know, it, it's special to cocktails, I have to. Alright, can we just give some love to how cool these stairs are? Complete with the crowd, clouds on top. Alright, I'm in the very back on this one, so let's go find the seat. And this is my view. It's okay, it's not the best view in the world. Last time I saw this show, I was like right over there. But this time, I had to go budget friendly. But yeah, this is the Love Theater. And there are, I believe these are speakers. And right behind my seat, if you can see that, those are, those are speakers too. I got the beverage. I took two sips of this pre-mixed beverage and wasted a lot of money. Strawberry Fields, that's what I got today. With the show being moments away from starting, all the pre-show entertainments started to appear. And now 
it's time for the show to begin. early. Sadly, I got to get to the airport. I think I misjudged how long the show is first when my flight leaves. So I got everything but the very, very end, just the final battles. I am going to get to the airport and then I'm going to tell you my thoughts on the show. I made it to the airport and like record time, I had the best taxi driver ever. And I'm like, I'm going to make the flight. Literally, I'm about to go there. It's going to start boarding as soon as I get there. The timing is perfect. Except my flight just got delayed. It got delayed about, eh, about 30, 45 minutes. So let's get to the gate and we'll talk about the show. Let's talk about love. You know, it's a good show. It really is. It's not the best Cirque du Soleil show there has ever been. I remember the first time I seen it going, it's okay. And then this time, I was really happy. I got like the cheap seats. The cheap seats were not cheap. It started off like, hey, here's a ticket for $89. And you're like, perfect, this works. I can afford this. But then once you add the service fees, the taxes, convenience fees, and any other fee they think they need to add, that ticket went from like $89 to like $123, which I thought was completely ridiculous and insane. But I do believe that show is completely dated now. And, uh, you know, I'm excited to see what replaces it with the hard rock. Now about the show, it's kind of a celebration of the Beatles, but there's a lot of sadness and tragedy that happens with the Beatles. So you think it's an uplifting show? It's really somber. Like you leave there just kind of feeling meh. And I remember that's how I felt the last time I saw it. The stage for love is spectacular. The tech behind it is insane. It is such a custom built stage that does stuff I've never seen another stage do. And in that part of it, I'm really gonna miss. It was also really cool uh, being super high because I was sitting right next to where the flyers come in and out. And when they were doing these crazy acrobats, or these crazy acrobatic tricks, I was literally like, just like feet from them. And that was insane to see. Like, they're right at eye level. And they're doing these crazy flips and twists and all this stuff in the air. But all in all, it was a fun evening. I'm happy I got to see it again before it closed, but excited to see what replaces it. That's what I got for you. I'm about to head into the club, because I'm a bougie like that. Gang, okay, I'll talk to you later. Have a great night, and I'll see you again next time. Take care, everyone.